Ugh, do you think if they catch us, they will punish you? Probably. Then let's get out of here before... What the frick? Mom? Run! Oh, oh, oh. Well, hey all you cool creatures. I'm Cryptid. Welcome to the Cryptid Plays YouTube channel. You saw those content warnings up there. If you don't know, ometophobia is eyes. Um, not to be confused with emetophobia. Anyways, today we are playing Memory Recoil, which is a short, surreal, horror visual novel. And what it is about is that we follow the story of Vaughn, a boy who lives secluded in his house until one day he receives an unexpected visit from a boy named Liam who invites him to play outside. Nothing bad could happen, right? This is a submission to the 6th Annual Spooktober Visual Novel Jam, and it was made in, I think, a month? But we shall see how it goes. It looks interesting. So anyhow, with all that out of the way, let's get started. This is really strange. The more I think about it, the weirder it is. What was I supposed to be doing? Oh, yeah, I was on my way to look for something. Today is a special day, since Dad finally returned from work. But Dad and Mom are yelling at each other again. Why is he yelling at Mom? What makes Dad angry again? I don't understand when things turn out this way. Mom used to be the happiest person when Dad was home. Then, why... Oh, <laughs> that, that is creepy. This is bad. Dad saw me. Quick, I have to hide. Behind the heater? I would be very exposed. It is too easy to see. Under the desk? Are you stupid? I should think of another option. <laughs> Under the bed it is. Sure. If I cover myself with the blanket and hide under the bed, it's less likely that he'll see me. You silently crawl across the room to the bed and decide to wait until the danger passes. Hmm? It's me. Could you open the window? I'm freezing out here. <laughs> I wonder when the day will come when you will welcome me through your front door. Man, are you locking yourself in here again? Who? It, it doesn't matter. Could you open the window? Lock it. <laughs> huh? 
Did you lock it? Sorry, but mom told me not to open to strangers. I see you still have your sense of humor. Now open the window. Have a good night. Are you serious? Hey, we can talk. Just come back here. Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> and in this way, the boy who just a few seconds ago was hiding was now going down to dinner, completely ignoring that boy who was visiting him. Perhaps this was not the ending he expected, although the only thing he did know was the satisfaction that came from ignoring that person. Damn! Come back here! Please! Please! Ending. Nothing special. Time to get the other endings. Play dead. Mom always said she did it to get away from problems. Well, I suppose that is one way to get away from a problem. Although, now that I think about that, the implications are incredibly sad. Maybe if I close my eyes and stay still, I can make him go away. What are you doing? Get up quickly and open the window. Hey, enough of the jokes and get up. I'm freezing out here. Vaughn? No, no. No way. Can, can you hear me? Are you okay? Vaughn, can you hear me? What is this idiot doing now? Just go already. Somehow I'm starting to feel guilty. Wait, I'll come in to save you. Look crazy. You plan to break the window? You're gonna hurt your hand. Are you okay? Of course. No one will die from falling from this height. Oh, I was so worried. You looked so vulnerable, lying there on the floor, that I thought you really were injured. I'm worried about you. I'm saying this with all my heart. I... Stop! Okay, I'll let you in. Seriously? I could have frozen to death out there. Who are you? My name is Liam, and you're Vaughn, right? How do you know my name? I've been wondering this for a while, but how is it possible that... We've been neighbors for a long time, and you don't remember me? Whatever. What are you doing locked up here in the dark when there's so much snow to play in outside? Snow? Don't, don't tell me. You don't know what snow is? Of course I know what it is. It's like sand, but white, right? <laughs> Not quite. Man, you really are something. Anyway, what do you want? 
Oh, it's just that I saw you in the distance and thought it would be a good idea to come. Do you want me to come out and play with you? <laughs> Bravo! That's right. That would be a bit problematic. Why is something wrong? I don't think my parents will give me permission to go out. Don't worry. Adults say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Who, who told you that? Anyway, we just have to go out the back door, right? So let's go out there. Huh? Is something wrong? Um, I think the window is stuck. How the hell is it going to lock if you just came in through there? I, I don't know what happened either. Great. Now we're both locked in. Why don't we just go out the front door? If we go fast enough, your parents might not notice. <sighs> that doesn't work. After all, the front door is also closed. My god! The front door, too? I wonder what kind of life you've been leading to be locked up like this. Why, you did me dirty. But isn't that a good thing? What's good about this situation? Well, that means you can give me a tour of your house. Huh? It's been a while since I visited a new house. Are you serious? Are you kidding? Who? Do whatever you want. Just don't make too much noise. Are you serious? I promise to behave. So right now, we can't go out the window. But we can't go out the front door either. There is a key. Why didn't you just say that before? Well, because someone was still yapping. Anyway, if I remember correctly, the key should be kept in my mother's bedroom or somewhere else. Do you have a pencil and paper? And why would you need that? I think it would be easier if we organized the information we have. Oh, <laughs> aren't I a genius? I love that. So the father's a devil and the mother's an angel. And then that's them. <laughs> it's not, it's not that bad. How old are you kids? Even if I draw with my feet, the result would be better than yours. I think it at least deserves to be called a drawing. Well, what we know so far is that we can't use the front door because it's locked. And we can't go down either because your parents are on the first Floor. He makes me think of a cat, but a very energetic cat. So, while we take the opportunity to go to any room on the second floor, we take out the key and get out of here. What do you think? I don't think there's a problem. 
As long as you keep quiet. Well then, let's go. I can hear my parents in the distance, but I still don't think we should go down yet. Oh, your house is nice. I like minimalist things. Um, thanks. So where do we go first? Um, <laughs> let's go down. I feel like some Thing is watching us. Could it be that I imagined it? May maybe it's not time to go down yet. Fine. The bathroom. Well, here we are. Remember not to raise your voice too much. Yes, boss. Boss? Hey boss, don't you think this is the least likely place someone could leave a key? Why do you keep calling me like... Anyway, my mother usually leaves things in the pockets of her clothes. We should check if there's anything loose. Like a jacket. Hmm, under the circumstances... I feel compelled to examine this beautiful tub. Whoa! Is it marble? But what quality does this bathroom have? <laughs> While he jokes, I will look around. See the tub. There doesn't seem to be anything special here. Alright. Sink. Because keys are in the sink, right? Mom usually leaves her jewelry here. But since she had her first argument with Dad, I haven't seen her rings around here. Could it be that she lost it somewhere? Oh, no, I'm sorry. A noise, but it doesn't sound like steps. It seemed to come from the ceiling. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Hey, even though I didn't find anything, I think I have an idea where it might be. What? Liam, don't move. What are you talking about? Oh god, there's something behind me, right? I seriously hate this. It's like the typical cliche where the best dies. Do you really have the time to proclaim yourself the best in this situation? Get out of the tub and come on. Just don't turn around. I'm really freaking out. You better not be playing a joke on me. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to figure out what might be the twist in this. I feel like one of them might be a ghost. That was scary. It gave me goosebumps. You really couldn't see it? No, but I'm sure I just used up my whole life's worth of luck escaping from that room. It seems like Liam can't see them, but he can hear them. So this might work. Work alone? Well, good luck working on your own. Wait, are you abandoning me right now? And I thought you considered me a friend. 
If you are so scared, you can hold on to my sweatshirt. That's not the problem. Now, where should we go? Pantry? We didn't find anything after searching the room. Why do you insist on going this way? There is nothing to see. Apparently, there isn't much to see around here. Yes, we better go back. Oh, wait, perhaps this is... Aren't these the mega special edition honey butter potatoes? What's with that long name? I swore that they had stopped being produced years ago. I never imagined I would find one again. Congratulations, you can keep it. Now move on. Mmm, they are delicious. Now I think I can die happy without regrets. Did you even check the expiration date? Who cares? They taste delicious. Bro. <laughs> now where should we go? Bathroom. No, no, no. I'm not going back in there. Ever. Go down. I haven't heard anything in a while. How about we take a look there now? You're right. It is likely that they have gone somewhere. We should take the opportunity to go down. Well then, let's go. Hey, Vaughn. Do you think scarier things await us down there? Who knows? Wait, this is... <laughs> Alright, we have a Salvador Dali painting. Oh my god. We also have that Francisco Goya painting, uh, Saturn devouring his son. And then this thing. I love it. A portrait of your family? Uh, yes, that's my family. Now that I think about it, you've never told me anything about them. And what relevance would it have at this moment? Oh, hey, come on. Don't be like that. We're friends, right? Could you at least tell me what your mother is like? Mom has a happy personality reserved but outgoing at the same time young tall and beautiful wow your mom is something did she work as a model or what how did you know are you serious or at least that was before she met dad and your father, what kind of person is he? A monster. I'm sorry. But it's good to know. Why did his name turn red? Huh? You don't think so? What did you say? You don't hear me. You know I don't like to repeat what I say. It ruins the joke. What's wrong with you? Does it seem like a joke to you? There is nothing wrong with me. You should let me finish what I was saying. Because... Because now I'm pretty sure you look like your mother. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? 
Do you know what a monster is? A person who inflicts harm on others, and he doesn't even care. You do care about others. Then you are not one. Thanks. But you seriously scared the hell out of me. You seemed ready to hit me. I regret that. Well, it doesn't matter. Since I'm a good friend, I forgive you. I should have hit him. <laughs> Although it is true that I have been somewhat sensitive. I need to get the hell out of here before I go crazy. This is the top floor, right? Yeah, right. Those boxes, are you planning to move? Apparently so. Hmm. What do you mean by apparently so? I don't know. I wasn't aware of it either. It's not possible that I haven't noticed. Could it be that they packed their bags at night while I was sleeping? If so, why? Anyway, should we start looking? Yeah, it's more likely to appear around here. Take a look in the mirror drawer. In the distance, you can see Liam searching through the boxes. Why is he there if I already told him I would go later? Anyway, back to the matter. It's a mirror that's a little dusty, but pretty. If it is used frequently, why is it dusty? Oh no. Something tragic happened in this. I'm preparing my heart for it. Why? What are you seeing? Yum. Wow, don't you think we look very pretty in the reflection? Why are you suddenly pale? By any chance, did you see a ghost? Stay away from me. Hey, come on. You make me feel bad for playing a joke on you. Do you think it's funny? Does walking around scaring people make you laugh? I'm so sorry. I didn't imagine you'd be so scared. Anyway, come on. We must be close to the key. Sure. What's going on here? Was that Liam's reflection? No. Wait. Let's think about it. I should come later to think more carefully. Can I look again? This is the old mirror that Mother uses. Although Dad rarely did, he also used it. That reflection I saw before was much taller than Liam. So who was he supposed to be? You can still see Liam looking around. I should start moving. Let's look in the boxes. There are lots of things stacked inside the box. Some look older, while others look newer. Why did they start packing things if there's nowhere to go? Okay, hallway. I think we're done seeing everything here. Hey, don't you think we're running out of options? I mean, there are only the hallway rooms left, right? I guess that's the only place where they could be. 
the truth is, I don't really want to go there. If you want, I can go look there. Huh? I mean, it would be faster if we separated to look for the key. Uh, please go ahead. That's what I would like to say, but I'm more than clear that the moment we separate, something bad will happen. So for now, I'll move on from it. I don't think it's a good idea. But wouldn't it be more efficient? Let's go together and that's it. Don't you think it's a bit scary? The bulb seems to still be in good condition. What do you mean by that? Dad hasn't changed it in a while, so I expected it to be burnt. What? Are you afraid? Did I get scared? What nonsense are you saying? This could be a lot of fun. Should I tease him a little? Screw it. Yeah. Of course, I can't miss this opportunity. Hey, Liam. Can I ask you a favor? Go ahead. Say it. Could you please stand in the middle of the hallway? Well, but... Why do you need me to be doing this? It's not a big deal. I just want to check something. I'm already where you told me. What's next? Where did the light go? Sorry about that. I think the bulb finally burned out. It's a lie. I was the one who turned off the light. Then do something, please. You ask me the impossible. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Okay, that's enough. I should turn on the lights before he starts crying. Turn on the lights? Oh look, the light came back. What are you doing lying on the floor? You son of a... Well, well, better let's move on. Okay, what does Abracadabra do? Abracadabra, turn on the lights. Okay. You son of a... Well, well, better let's move on. Anyway, I don't think there's much to see here. I mean, it's just a hallway with closed doors. Why not go straight to the other side? It would be a bit complicated. Wait. Did you hear that? Steps? What are you talking about? Wait, now that you mention it, it sounds like footsteps. If those are steps, it means it's one of my parents? Liam, quickly, we have to get out of here. It looks like she's already gone. We should leave before she comes back. Hey, what was that? Maybe my mother? Ugh, do you think if they catch us, they will punish you? Probably. Then let's get out of here before... What the frick? Mom? Run! Oh, oh, oh. Crawl. What's wrong with you? You scared me. 
Sorry, I thought she caught up with us. Wait, hold on. What happens if we don't manage that? Give me a minute. Okay. I don't know if it works for you, but what I do to stay calm is count from one to two and so on. Like, one, two, one. Isn't it supposed to be one, two, and three? I don't know. Just play along. Okay, run. Ugh, are we safe now? I guess for now, yeah? At this rate, my punishment will be extended for about three more months. We already searched the first and second floors, but we didn't find anything. And that only leaves us with my mother's bedroom as the last option. If there was no one in all the rooms, it means that my parents are probably there. I... I really don't want to go there. And Liam can't come in with me because I'm not sure what father would do to him if he saw him. So in order for us to get out of here together, I must do it alone. Hey, Liam? Mm hmm? Wait for me here while I look for the key. And no matter what you hear, don't enter the room for anything in the world. Sorry, I don't think I can do... Please. Well, well, but if I hear a single noise, I won't stay still. Thank you. Oh, there's no one. It seems that my parents were indeed not home. The room is just as I remember it. The bed is perfectly tidy, and fresh air blows as always. But this is weird. If my parents aren't here, where else could they be? Whatever, let's find the key and get out of here. Look under the bed. The key is not here. I search well, let's try again. Desktop. Drawers. There's no way the key isn't there. Let's try again. Ugh, I'm seriously going to lose my mind if I still can't find that key. Let's think again. The key was not on the second floor. Not on the first. Although, to be honest, we covered the first floor halfway after running out of the hallway. So that leaves us with the hallway. Since it didn't occur to me before, is stupidity contagious? Whatever. The key must be there. I should tell Liam as soon as possible. Ah. You took longer than expected. Did you seriously faint with a little scare? I thought my son would be stronger. Father? Who's that outside? Your new friend? More importantly, why didn't you introduce it to us? What did you do with him? Where did you take Liam? Oh, 
So his name is Liam. I, I mean, don't worry. I didn't do anything. I just stopped by to say hello. That's all. He's just passing through. Is that so? Yes. Do you think I'm a joke? I know very well that you came to look for the key. <gasps> Are you seriously asking me to give you the key to leave? Right now, if that's the case, forget about it. Why can't I go out? And now you're making trouble. We've all done our best to raise you at home. What's the point of going outside? No, I mean... You have no idea how the world out there works. You have no money, knowledge, and much less guts. And despite all that, I'm still raising you. He's a freaking child. I have done everything in my power to make you and your mother happy. But you just want to go out without caring about anything. Answer me, do you still want to leave this house like your mother? That's enough. You know very well that he has nothing to do with this. I see. Did you plan this together? Please, what are you talking about? Have your lovely chat. I'll give you time. Mother, my beloved son, I'm sorry I didn't get here sooner. Don't worry, mother. There's no reason to apologize. Don't take your father into account. You know that he loves us. Does he? Does he? Yes, mother. How are you getting along with your new friend? Did you have fun? Huh? Are you talking about Liam? I think that... Let's be mean first. He's an idiot. I think he's an idiot. But even though he is an idiot, I think he has a good heart. I see. I'm very happy to hear you talk like that about your partner. But you can't leave until we fix the root of the problem. Huh? Mother? That friend of yours is the problem. Have you noticed that since he arrived, strange things have started happening in this house? Eyes looking everywhere, things going missing, objects out of place. Don't you think it's strange? Furthermore, from the first moment that boy arrived, he had a strange obsession with going outside. What do you think he's going to do to you once he gets you out of this house? But also keep in mind that your father's patience is running out. You know that he doesn't like having visitors at home. My son, you have always fulfilled your duties. So tell me, would you eliminate that friend of yours? Yeah? Yes, mother. I knew I could trust my son. Here, take the key. You deserve to go out as a reward for being so obedient. And I hope 
that when you return, you do it without that friend. Yes. Now go, your friend is waiting for you. I found the key. Really? So let's get out of here quickly. Yes. But first, can we go back to one of the rooms? Sure, but can I ask why? It's just that I left something. Well, let's go quickly. Hey, Vaughn, can't you find it yet? Almost. I think I left it here. Well, I'll keep looking, but I've been thinking for a while. How come what you lost would be in the kitchen if we never went there? Vaughn? What? I mean, we said yes, but Jesus. I did it. I finally did it. I should take the key and get out of here. What is this feeling? Regret? Joy? Grief? Who knows? Did I really do the right thing? Sometimes adults do things that are beyond our understanding. Does that mean that with this I became an adult? I still don't understand what that boy's obsession with going outside was. Maybe I should have asked him. The sun is annoying. I should go back inside. Ending Mother's Son. Alright, we have two more endings. Alright, let's say no. No. What did you say? I won't do it. Because you are not my mother. Liam? Are you okay? Did, did, did you, did you just hit my mom? Are you telling me that thing was your mom? What should I do if dad finds out? Enough is enough with all this nonsense. There was never a mother or a father or this or that. Oh, I feel dizzy. What I'm trying to tell you is that... Wait, is everything okay? Hey, hold on to me. Stay upright. I think Liam is talking to me. What was he trying to say when he said that about my parents? Vaughn? Oh, seriously, this night has been long. What was I supposed to be doing? Oh yeah, I was on my way to look for something. A long time ago, there was a day when the door was open. Mom looked at me and asked if I wanted to go out, but I said no because I was fine at home. The next day, the door was still open. Mom looked at me and asked if I wanted to go out, but I said no because I was fine at home. But one day, the door was no longer open. Mom had argued with Dad again. So I asked Mom if she wanted to go outside. But she just smiled and told me that she had given me several opportunities. Oh, I see. It's not that I was looking for some thing but I was looking for some one. It's been years since my mother had passed away. How could I forget? I think I finally understand. 
I had locked myself in a lot of unreal things. Wanting to believe that those who had already left were here by my side, denying my reality over and over again. So what about Liam? That boy was always strange from the start. I've forgotten him, too, inside of my memory. Or maybe it's a person I've made up in my head. I have doubts about it, but I don't want to wake up. But what am I so afraid of? The ghost of my father? To face the loneliness that comes with being without my mother? Or wake up and find out that none of this was real? I'm tired of being afraid. I have to wake up. Keep dreaming. Now that I think about it, what do I gain by waking up? What do I gain from facing reality? Yes, it's true. No one can force me to do it. Who cares if it belongs to me out there? Who cares what's out there? If staying here means I can continue eating the food mom makes, I don't care at all. Yes, dreaming is not so bad after all. Ending Sleeping Beauty Syndrome. Hmm, wake up. Yes, there is no one else who can open that door but myself. I don't care what I have to fight out there. I have to wake up. Ugh, what's that? A mannequin? Vaughn! Oh my god! Now I'm gonna give him a deeper voice because he's not a kid. Are you okay? Who? Now you don't recognize me? It's Liam. Liam, you... Somehow you have grown a lot. Do you just realize? Man, how have you been perceiving me until now? Like a child? I don't know. In some ways, like a child. Hey, I know that sometimes I act childish, but don't you think that calling me a child is too much? I'm sorry for that, but... Let's get up from the floor first. Hey, you should look in the mirror. Maybe then you'll remember where you're standing. You're lucky that I always bring one with me. Here you go. <laughs> What's wrong with my face? Well, you're scrunching it up for one. Did you hit your head? If that's not you, who else would it be? But seriously, for a moment I thought that mannequin was a person, and I struck without hesitation. This place is surely making me lose my mind. The good thing is that when you passed out, I found the key. Who knew it was hanging on the mannequin? So now we can get out of here. Well, now that you know, any questions? Who are you really? I already told you. I'm Liam. I'm not talking about your name. Is something wrong? Well, you took me by surprise. It wouldn't be surprising if I asked about you, considering you've been with me all this time, right? <laughs> You're right. I'm just an old friend of yours. Is that so? How long have we known each other? So how long have you known me? Around three years. I don't think that's enough to be considered an old 
friend. Hey, you hurt my feelings. No more questions. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Anyway, are you ready to get out of here? Yeah, let's go. Hey, looking directly at the sun can hurt you. It's just, it's been so long that I no longer remember what it used to look like. What nonsense are you talking about? The sun has always been there. The fact that you didn't go out to touch grass is another thing. Oh, look! The flowers grow here, too. And now you ignore me. Hey, I don't know if I told you before, but... Thank you for helping me get out of there. Better pay me with a meal. Man, what a crazy night. It's even already daylight. Hey, there's still snow! To be honest, I didn't tell the whole truth. That day, I received a call. I knew something tragic had happened. They said you were in a car accident. When I arrived, there were already a couple of friends there. However, when you woke up, the first thing you said was, Excuse me, who are you? They said it was partial amnesia, causing constant mental regressions to various stages of his life. The doctor said that today, he could be mentally a teenager, but that tomorrow he could be a child. At first, there were a lot of people who came to visit you. However, for those who lived uncomplicated lives, it was not very difficult to detach themselves from what they considered a problem. In this way, little by little, they disappeared. At some point, I also started to think that I was wasting my time. Why do I feel like you're dead even though you're in front of me? I know that you will forget me as if I were a fictional character, and no matter what I do, nothing would change. And then he said, Tomorrow you'll come again? Huh? If what the doctors said is true, tomorrow would be like seeing each other for the first time. But I don't want to forget you. So could you come see me again? That boy who in all these years had never asked me for anything, for the first time had wanted something. And how could I say no to someone like that? Sure, I promise to keep coming every day. I don't know what you've been through, but I'm sure we'll have time to talk about it in the future. And when that time comes, I'll be there to support you as I promised. Hey, Vaughn! Don't run into the middle of the street. Ugh, you are ruining the moment. Come here, you little rascal. Let me go, ah! Ending Happy Palace.
Okay, before I do my outro, I'm just gonna do my channel member shout out real quick. Thank you so much to my channel members for your support. Not only does it help me, it helps the channel grow and it helps the videos keep coming. I truly appreciate it. And now on to the outro. That was memory recoil. And, um, I didn't know what to expect at all going into it. I could not have guessed the amnesia angle, but this was very similar to some of the RPG Maker games I've played on this channel. It was interesting to get a story like that in a strictly visual novel, and it was really cool. I liked going through the house, getting the spooks, trying to find a way out, and ultimately either never getting out, or or killing Liam, or actually leaving and discovering the truth. It was fun. I'd say that the developer did a good job. The scares were good. The endings were satisfying. And... It was an interesting story, no matter which way you decided to go. It was fun. But anyhow, if you made it this far, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of me, but you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I upload videos usually three times a week. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.